Hi, I'm Joe with FPWeb.net. You're watching Joe Knows Support. I recently tried to go to the SharePoint Saturday here in St. Louis, but I walked into a clairvoyant meeting. They didn't see me coming, but I think they should have. Order up. Thank you, Peter. Ah, adding users in SharePoint and on your AD server. There's two ways to do it. First, let's start with the SharePoint way. Okay, to do this, you're going to go to Site Settings. You can go to Advanced Permissions, or you can come down here to People and Groups. Once you're here, click on New and Add a User. Once we do that, you'll see there's a Create button. That's for AD Account Creation Mode. Once I click on that, I can put in an email address. And that email address will be what's used for the username later. And we'll see the difference between that and the display name in a bit. So I'm going to put that in here, and then I'm actually going to put in a name. So I'll just put in Eric for now, and just type that in, and click on OK. And now it's going to show you that it just added that user into this domain. Now right here you can actually pick what permissions you want them to have. All kinds of different permissions here, so go ahead and click on OK. And now you see the display name over here. But actually, the username is going to be test119 under that domain. So that's how you would do it in SharePoint. All right. And now you see how we added a user in SharePoint. Let's go in and see how you do it in AD Server. All right. Now, another way to do this in the more traditional way is to do it right on the Active Directory server. So go into your Active Directory. Click on Users and Groups. Once this comes up, you'll see we blocked out the OUs for most of our uh, structure here. When you go to the proper OU and right click on it. Once we're here, we're going to go ahead and new and we're going to go to user. Right here, what we're going to do is put in a first name and a last name. And then we're going to just go ahead and put in a user login name. And in this case, we're going to use test119.admin. Now we're going to click on next. And we're going to go ahead and make sure we change password never expire. The reason for that is once this actually uh, expires, there's no way for the end user to change it. So we want to make sure that we don't have him going back or her going back to the admin to get that changed. This way it's managed easier this way. So go ahead and do finish. And we're going to actually see that they're added in AD now. So now that we know that they're added in Active Directory on the server, we're actually going to take the properties click on that, and then go in and actually put in an email that corresponds with that account. So as we did before, test at 119 at test 119.com. Go ahead and click on apply. And now that's set on the server. So now we want to go back into SharePoint at this point. Now we're going to go to site actions. And then underneath Site Actions, we're going to go down to Site Permissions. Clicking in here, we're going to go ahead and grant permissions. So now we're going to put in that name that we had before, test.119.admin. Then we're going to check name. So come right over here, check the name to the directory. It's going to find it. So that's good. Now we can actually give them proper permissions. And go ahead and click OK. At that point, you'll see that they show up here. So now they're in SharePoint. Now, when you click on it, we'll actually go in. And if there's anything in here that needs to be changed, we can do it. So we can come up here to Edit Item. And if, so, say, we want to change that email address, so we click on the Edit Item. We can come right over here to Email and actually change it out to something else. When here, you can change this email. Also, keep in mind that you cannot actually make these changes reflect in SharePoint from the AD server. So, any changes with email or anything to do with this account from here on out have to be done within SharePoint right here. So, you see there that it's changed. And we're all good to go. So, we're going to close that out. And that's how you add them in the AD server. Now, if you have any questions about any of this, 
feel free to write on the blog or write on this video post and ask some questions. We're here to help. And that is another ticket served.